Hello everybody, my name is Benji, and welcome back to Mindustry. Once upon a time, I did a playthrough of this on the channel, and it ended up dying uh, when I went and got busy with college. Um, I have played through the rest of the game ever since that ended. I believe I ended at either Tarfields or Impact 0078. But that's not what today's about. Today is about starting over, because I've installed a mod, and as you can see, there's a lot of new stuff on the tech tree. Um, you can see there's just ugh, stuff all over the place that I have no idea what it is. Like, what is this? It, it, the mod is called Exogenesis. What is this thing? I have no idea what anything is. There's no way I'd be able to try to follow with all of this. I just want this as solidified proof that yes, I have beaten the game. And then we are going to go in here, game data, and just completely clear the campaign saves. And that's that. Now I hit campaign, and what, I can just go to any of them? Oh, because I still have my tech tree. Alright, in that case, let's just go on ahead, game data, and just clear the game data. Unlocks and keybind. Uh, or I could just clear saves. Maybe that did it? Nope, okay, cool. Um... This is going worse than I thought. There. Now we're back to where we should start. And let's see what we have available to us. We have no items. We have conveyor junction. We need to get the router. None of this is unlockable yet. This is radioactive water. It's just not drinkable. <laughs> Love the tooltip. It looks like most of this is all base game. This is not, this is not, that's not, that's not, and that is. So there's a couple of things here that are not base game. But most of it looks like it is base game. Yeah, that's base game. That's all base game. That's not. Valvanite is not base game. Virtamite is also not. Scrap is. Coal is. And then this stuff. What is this? Genesux. The Genesux faction. Genesus, more like it. And Genesis Central. A small Genesux core that has a bit more health and storage from the Exogenesis mod. Alright, so we're just gonna go on ahead, launch in, and see what exactly is happening. So, ground zero is ground zero. I actually kind of want to keep both of these because they'll be producing. Ground zero is ground zero. Welcome back to Mindustry. The game where it's tower defense and also factory building all wrapped up into one. And we start with quite literally nothing. And by nothing, I fully literally mean we start with absolutely nothing. So this game is factory building tower defense, like I just said. The factory building portion comes from the fact that we build extractors and conveyor belts and there's resources and different automation buildings and power supplies and all of this other stuff. The tower defense piece of things comes into play. I'm gonna get rid of none of this stuff because it takes forever to get rid of. I just want to get rid of the rocks right now. The tower defense part comes from this, the drop point. And you can see there's a wave counter and a time before the waves actually get here in the top left. That wave counter is an indication of, hey, you are going to have company here in just a little itty bitty bit of time, so be prepared for that and defend it as best as you can with the resources that you have on planet, or on 
sector, rather. It's not really... It's all the same planet, it's just different sectors. And then as well, there is the research tree, which I did have open just a second ago, and I can go back and reopen it here momentarily. Right now I just want to make sure that I get like as much copper and other stuff flowing as I can. Copper and lead primarily are the two big resources right now. I just want to make sure that I can get as much of it flowing as possible in this early game stage of things. You can see there it slows down because everything has a build cost. These cost copper, 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 and this costs lead, copper, and astrolite because it's from the exogenesis mod. I don't know entirely what that entails, to be completely honest with you. So let's start mining and go to our research tree and just kind of see what we've got. Um, I just researched radioactive water. Sure, that's fine. Viscosity is a thing now? Okay, cool. The router distributes input items to three output directions equally. So yes, we're gonna grab that. That requires lead, lead, and lead. So we're done with that. Small copper wall, we need 200 for. And yes, we can just put as much as we have into it and then come back later and put the rest in. I just usually avoid doing that. That way I don't drain all of my resources at once. But sometimes it is useful, I will admit. I will admit that sometimes it is useful. It's especially especially useful to use routers at junction points like that, because now this will all run nice and smooth. There's no need for that down here, so we're fine in that regard. I am going to go on ahead and just grab more copper from here. And now that we're getting some lead, I'm also going to grab the bridge conveyor, which I didn't have enough lead for, sadly. The bridge conveyor will make it a lot easier to get all of the resources out of different nodes. However, obviously that was not the case right there. I'm also going to bring this up instead, put a router just to have the two junctions do its thing. And then of course I muck up my belt placement. And there you have it. Welcome to early game industry. That's literally it <laughs> right now. Like, honestly, that is it. This should give me scrap. If it doesn't give me scrap, I don't need a lot of scrap to unlock that part of the research tree, so I can literally just do that and then plonk it in the core, and that gives me the scrap tab here used in melters and pulverizers for refining into other materials. It's true. Uh, still can't get the bridge conveyor yet. I need more lead. That's like the big thing that I need right now, is lead. And deconstructing the batteries should give me lead as well. But we're about to get our first enemy. Our very first enemy. There it is. It's a tiny little guy. Very small. But he will shoot me, and I will kill him first, luckily enough. There's more lead here. That'll be important later. Emphasis on the important later part. But I can go on ahead and do the bridge conveyor, pump copper into everything else that requires copper, like the scatter and everything else. 
and then I'll just get more copper over time. You can see the copper still going up. Scrap went up as well, now that I actually unlocked it a little bit. But I need a defense. That's like the big thing that I need right now. So I'm going to go on ahead, I'm going to blueprint something. Because yes, there are schematics in this game. I have a lot of very late game ones there that I will be improving over time. But for right now, what I need is just a standard router chain duo. Just like that. That's all I need right now. And then we can grab ourselves even more copper from here. Because the duos shoot copper. I am actually going to plug that in over there. But every single turret in the game has different ammos that give them different things. So like the copper does 9 damage, double ammo multiplier. Graphite is a 4 times ammo multiplier, very efficient, not as efficient as silica. Tons of damage, less fire rate. Silica and pyrotite are the best ammo because it also does the burning. Radioactive water and osmium liquid. Interesting. But now we can do this. We're going to need this for a while. So duo MK1. We have duo MK1. And now we can place another set of duo MK1 over here. That's probably the most efficient that I'm going to get out of this. And we want the efficiency for our ammo belts because of the fact that we don't have any method of storage yet. However, what we can also do is we can double this using the sorter. There's the sorter. We can double the throughput of this by having empty sorters. The issue with having routers chained next to one another is the fact that you'll get a lot of pass back and the transportation won't be very efficient versus when you put the sorters like this. Oh, well, it's supposed to work. Yeah, that's supposed to work, but it obviously doesn't anymore. I wonder if that got patched or something. Okay, well, uh, never mind on that regard. There is another way that I can think that we can do this. And that's simply by having this offset by one. And then doing that. And the only issue there is the fact that now we only have one belt going in, trying to satisfy all of the turrets, and that won't work either. Actually, yes, this will still work. This will still work. I'm struggling here. But yeah, there we go. That'll work. Nice. And then I mucked up the design placement, so that's absolutely fantastic. There, that'll fix it. And then we can just do this, and it'll be fine now. And that'll solve all of our ground attacking issues, like all of our ground defense issues. And then we can grab some more lead now for the lower areas. And we'll go on ahead and grab it like this, because now we have the bridge 
So we can build all of these, and once these are built, bridge. And bridge. And that should connect to everything nice and together. And then we can just bring it down. And we should have enough lead to research the distributor now. And then we can plop a distributor here. And that'll merge the belts together. And now the belts will be fine. And then obviously as well, we can just do a bridge like that. Have it come in together. And that throughput should be sufficient. We could honestly even do like this. And the throughput should still be sufficient. And then I'll grab more copper from here because I'm greedy and I can like this and then grab the belts. Actually, we'll just leave it play right now. There's really not a reason I can see for us not leaving it on play. And then I'm also just going to do this. And then that. And the throughput should still be sufficient. Ah, that's a problem. We have five belts trying to go into four slots. So that's not exactly going to work. Like that. Now we have more lead coming in. We're going to start having to deal with aerial units. So I want the scatter. I very, very much want the scatter. The issue is the fact that I don't quite have enough lead production. Well, attaching that is going to help with that. And then harvesting this lead will also help with that. Very, very much so. And then we can grab this. And we can grab you as well. And then we can bring it down. And attach it here. And then instead of having this... We can just have it all go into one spot. Or possibly two, like that. Bring this the whole way down. And then around. Like so. And that should help my lead throughput in order to unlock the scatter. Because like I said, we're going to start having to deal with aerial enemies very soon. And having to deal with aerial enemies is going to be a problem. I'm going to go on ahead and upgrade the walls. And then if I need to, I can add an extra line of duos right along the back here. And I think I will because it looks like my copper production is perfect. And then I'm also going to just beef up some of the copper walling here. Yeah, my copper production is very sufficient at the moment. Very sufficient. And then once we s get the scatter unlocked, the scatter is an aerial turret, fires clumps of lead, scrap or metaglass, flak and enemy aircraft. Once we get that unlocked, we'll put a row of them out the back here. And then we can just attach the scrap into it, which I'll go on ahead and start designing the harvesting of the scrap while we have some downtime. And I am going to pause here just so that I don't actually get any scrap on the belts. And 
then just go on ahead and do all of that. Attach that belt in, that belt in, and this belt in, all to the same spot. And then this will just run up, up. And then it'll probably have to split here and then go across like so. I don't know why it looks like it's having such an issue. Like it's flowing, it's just flowing very slowly. Oh, it's because it's trying to pass it back, so it is running into a pass-back issue, even with this design. Oh well, it should still be sufficient for now. We only need to survive a couple more waves, and we can unlock the scatter. The issue is that scatters are very, very expensive. I say as I immediately try to build six of them on each side. And then because of the fact, actually, those require lead. So let's not do that. Let's just do some routers. Because I like routers. And then I can actually get rid of that and just have it come along the side like this. And then I can give it another one of those to do that, and then bridge it across. And that will do wonders for any of our aerial foes. Speaking of, there's one now. And the duos took care of it. I didn't even need the scatters. It's fine. The scatters are there as an extra precaution. They will be needed in the future. And at this point, we just do the same repeat a basic Genesuxian turret fires astrolite bullets. Astrolite, 10 damage, freezing. Inaccuracy of 1 degree, target air and ground. Not bad, not bad. May as well go on ahead and put some stuff into it, even though we don't have astrolite on planet, or on sector, rather. And if we go back to the planet map, we can see all of the resources here, and then the statistics of, like, the, the production and stuff. And we have all these other sectors that we can go to once we're done here. Technically, we could already go there, but there's no point in us going there. I don't, I don't see a reason to go. I am going to build one of the astral turrets and then a starfleet energy turret fires a barrage of energy stars and it uses power well we don't have power yet because we don't have coal yet so let's just ooh look at that range well, that range is awesome Obviously, it's not going to have any ammo. I can still inhabit it, so that's cool. That's cool. It looks very cool, and it's got a huge range. Like, look at the difference there. It's almost the same range as the scatter. That's cool. That's very cool. I'll probably do one of those, you know, clickbaity thumbnails where I just kind of build like a whole square of them and just have them that's not what I wanted to do but I can just put them back on the belt oh I missed well that's four lead down the drain oh well so I'm not gonna unlock that I'm gonna unlock the overflow and the sorter and then the underflow gates first and then come back here and start grabbing the Starfleet. And at this point we're just waiting, so I'm just going to go on ahead and spawn the next waves. Also, yes, I do fire in the direction I'm facing, so I go slow if I go backwards.
Ooh, that's our first tier two unit that we're seeing. So these little guys are called daggers. That's what they're called. That guy, I think he's called a fortress. I don't actually remember. Now that I think about it. It's something along those lines. I don't have any astrolite, so I can't actually do that. And this is the last wave. So we are going to end up having this complete after we capture it here. They broke my wall. New content unlocked because we have done the sector. And I'm going to take a screenshot of that. And we're going to go see what is next. So next up in the tech tree is nothing, nothing new. Just the Starfleet, which actually I do want to see. Ah, it's the same. It's the same size. All right, planet map, frozen forest, threat low. Oh, we need more lead, of course. All right, I'm going to pause while we get more lead. Then we're going to check out the next zone and be done with it. Simple as. Hello, everybody. Future Benji here. Uh, so <laughs> the episode that I recorded regarding the first two zones, I thought I was going to make one episode for, and it ended up being like over an hour and 15 minutes long. So I'm actually going to go on ahead and cut that <laughs> here for episode one. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, but without further ado, adios, sayonara, au revoir, hasta la vista, das vidanya, vida zien, ciao, and goodbye. Please have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day, and don't forget to stay hydrated, get some sleep if you need to. That's the other thing. Oh yeah, the video's in the bag, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again for watching, enjoy next episode. Later y'all.